Yes, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Fellow Toastmasters, I want to speak to you tonight from whence I came. Knowing that this was the first meeting. But I traveled today, I traveled to several family islands in, in the course of my business. And I thought to myself, really do I want to talk about myself? And when I thought about what was happening in our country, it bothered me. I wanted to talk about Bama. I wanted to talk about something that's affecting us as a nation. Yes, I know I can make a difference, and I want to be involved as a Toastmaster as I've developed. But I know we as a country are going through some things. All of us are looking at what's happening. And maybe we think it's the end of the world. Maybe we think we all lost. But I just want to share with you today, regardless of from whence I came, and I will share from whence I came, because you all know I'm a Toastmaster. I live, breathe Toastmaster. But we, as a country, need to reevaluate right now. Where have we come from? And I just want to share with you today, it's not so much from whence I came. I want to share that. Yes, we have put a lot, we've invested in Bama. But I want to say to you today that the Bahamas, plenty of things are happening. Jobs are being lost, and it's real for those. I see some investors here now, many from Cable Beach, who invested in properties for Bama, and they are feeling it. It's real. But I want to say tonight to all of you Toastmasters, that the Bahamas is bigger than Bahama. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, say it again. Repeat after me. The Bahamas is bigger than Bahama. So don't mind. We are Bahamians. We fight hard. We go hard. We go after the best in the world. And we have members out there. We have excelled in sports. We have excelled in shipbuilding. We have excelled in banking, but sometimes things get hard. Things get tough. When you run hard, you lose hard, and that's the reality of it. But what I want to share with me, what came into my spirit tonight, fellow Toastmasters, is that the Bahamas is bigger than Bahama. And tonight, if you look back to the history of the Bahamas, Bahama just came. Bama wasn't always here. In fact, it's not even open yet. And people that think it's the end of the world, it's not the end of the world. Because the Bama, the Bahamas, is bigger than Bama. When you go way back, Bahama, Bama, whatever you want to say. Think about it. These islands were created, well, discovered, rediscovered by Christopher Columbus. In 1490, oh, more than 500 years. Do you imagine? 1492. From 1492. Ain't no black people. Could you imagine the luck <laughs> or the spirit for us to be discovered? I mean, Christopher Columbus set off from Europe to find the New World, to find the East Indies. I mean, you know the luck. You have the coast that go all the way from Alaska all the way down to the North, the South Pole. And all of those coastlines, when he set off from the new, from the old, the old world, he discovered the Bahamas. He landed in the Bahamas. And who were here? The original Arawak Indians. Mm -hmm. no they were people. superseded by the Caribs. No and no then people. the colonial era, we survived. When you think of all those islands in the Bahamas, more than 32 islands, I think of the most remote, Acklands, Crooked Island. They didn't have a Bahama. But I think with Andres, they survived off crabbing. Yeah, that's right. When you look at boat building, fishing, these islands are discovered by God and they are blessed. The Bahamas is bigger than Bahama. So I don't want us as Bahamians to feel as if it's the end of the world. I want you to feel encouraged. I want you to feel as if this country will survive, no matter what. 
from because this country is blessed. When we looked at those who discovered the moon, of all the places in the world, when Buzz Aldrin and the rest of them looked down on, on the world, you know what they said was the most beautiful place that they've seen from all the space? The Bahamas. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished So I want you to join me and say, yes, we, it's a little tough because we put a big bet. But the Bahamas is bigger than Bama. And we will survive. We are resilient people. We will get over this. Just check and go back to our origins. Long time ago, yes, we the first place in the new world that God, that the church landed. We the first trading outpost in the new world. So the Bahamas is destined to be the gateway for the new world. There you go, sir. When we talk about more recent uh, vision, it's already laid out. The framers of the Constitution, led by Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinnett. When we look at the Constitution and the prelude, 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, committed to the preservation of freedom, guaranteed a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, industry, self-commitment, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian violence, oh, and the rule we don't live of law. We don't All we got to do is go back to the fundamentals and we will be okay. When we look at this room as Toastmasters, I see some great Toastmasters in this room. Toastmaster Tony Longley, million dollar round table, multi-millionaire. Toastmaster Clem Foster, leading in three points now and setting the pace in the man he's mentored. Toastmaster Ed Carey, our visionary. Toastmaster Bradley Roberts, Setting the pace in business throughout our community. Toastmaster Jamal Hepburn, leading Atlantis, a multinational global institution fellow. Let's give them all a round of applause. Toastmaster Edric Boat, be working on him. Well, he's one of my mentors as well. And I was a summer student. <laughs> and sewage corporation. But he is doing things in his own right. And one of the formulas of the future as we move on forward, party politics has done as well. But also local community, local leadership. And he is one of those that is leading at the local level, fellow Toastmasters. So I just want you to join with me and say the Bahamas is bigger than Bahama. So what is our solution? We have had it. It's there already, fellow Toastmasters. What's the solution moving forward? It's right there in the motto of the Bahamas. Forward, upward, onward. Say it again. Forward, upward, onward, onward together. together. All together. Those four points, if we stick to our basics, we will be okay. Forward. Simple, hard work. We have some examples in here. Determination. Okay, move forward. Keep your eyes on the prize, fellow Toastmasters. And I like the song. My favorite song, one of the is Hit that nail hard, boy. Yeah, hit, hit it on the head. Drive the nail, all right, boys. Hit it on the head. All right. Going so, great. Great. <laughs> when I think about it, forward, I always want to say, hit that nail hard, boy. Drive the nail hard. Second point, upward. Look up to the hills from whence come it my strength, fellow those oh, yeah. and these things. Yes. We have a strong history. God in the New World landed in the Bahamas first with Christopher Kaman. Don't mind what they say, they killed a couple of people, but it's still here. Chris didn't kill anybody. All right? Stick to our God, stick to our commitment, and it's in our constitution. Okay? And we will be all right, fellow Toastmasters. Forward, upward, look to your Lord. Respect for the church, respect for Christian values, and help one another, fellow Toastmasters. Onward, forward, upward, onward. 
onward means set the pace. We were the voice in the new world. We were the voice for the church. We were the voice for trading. We in the Bahamas have been setting the pace. We lead the world in tourism. We lead the world in banking. We lead the world in ship registry. We lead the world in crime. No, 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 fix that, fix that, no, 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 distinguished guests, it's because we have a high per capita and we have a lot of guests that visit us, but the point we want to make is that, and we need to wear a I just said that for you to think. But the point okay. is, we can lead the world. Still in good recover. and in bad. Let us focus on the good that's, that's and we will brilliant. be okay. So forward, upward, onward. Be the best and set the pace in the world. And the final point is together. If each one of us be our brother's keeper, we will be. I, I am an expert in disasters. One of the biggest things when, yes, thank you very much, if everybody in the community have their own supplies and help one another, you can come overcome any disaster. And likewise, fellow Toastmasters and guests, let us be our brother's keeper. Yes, survival of the fittest, but also the protection of the weakest. Let us be our brother's keeper. If someone needs a shirt, let him a shirt. And if we stick to the simple principles that are out outlined by our forefathers, forward, determination, upward, look to, to our, 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 our Lord and our Maker, onward, let us set the pace for the rest of the world to follow. And together, let us be our brother's keeper. Right Fellow Toastmasters, <laughs> the Bahamas is bigger than Bahama. If we follow the principles of our forefathers, we will be okay. Fellow Toastmasters, we will be okay. Challenge you, follow that advice, go out and do your part to make the Bahamas a better Bahamas and a stronger Bahamas, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished so like a good do your part, because we have been here from a long time ago, and we will be here long into the future, because the Bahamas is bigger than Bahamas. Mr. Right, right, right.